Hey guys, welcome to Jordan's Film Quest. Today's adventure, I'll be taking you to a famous grave site. I flew into Fort Lauderdale today. I finished running around all day and I figured I would leave the best for last. I'm here at the Evergreen Cemetery here in Fort Lauderdale and I've come to pay my respects to one of the funniest people to ever walk the face of the earth. You might know him. Surely you can't be serious if you don't. I am serious, don't call me Shirley. He goes by the name of Leslie Nielsen. I'm gonna go find where he is laid to rest at and tell you a little bit about his life. And just take in the cemetery here. I've never been here, so it's kind of cool to just see what's going on around here. So let's check out the final resting place for Leslie Nielsen. As I approach his final resting place, I come upon this bench here that says, sit down whenever you can, Leslie Nielsen. All right, I guess I will sit down and right across from here is his final resting place. Leslie Nielsen, February 11th, 1926 to November 28th, 2010. Let her rip. And it looks like he has an airplane here. A tin can. A flag. Looks like some kind of glasses maybe. Another plane. An eyeball. And of course some flowers. I don't know if that's like a, a cup and some teeth, vampire teeth. Cool. So now I'm gonna drop some facts about Leslie Nielsen that you probably didn't know. He was born in Canada, February 11th, 1926, in Regina, Saskatchewan, and then later was raised in the Northern Territories. For most of his life, he was legally deaf from sensorineural hearing loss, but this didn't stop him from becoming an international movie star. He became an American citizen once he was a movie star. In 1958, he decided it was time to become a naturalized U.S. citizen, since he was already, you know, appearing in Hollywood films. He started more than 250 films and TV shows, most notably known for his role in Naked Gun and the movie Airplane. He was only 58 years old when Airplane hit the theaters, and by that time, he had already been in over 160 movies and television shows. Airplane was his first film in which he really turned his hand to comedy, in a career that had already begun 25 years earlier. Prior to Airplane, in his younger years, he was a straight dramatic actor. He starred in non-comedy roles such as Forbidden Planet, Revolutionary War miniseries, the Swamp Fox, and the Poseidon Adventure. If you're wondering why his headstone says let her rip, it's because Leslie loved fart jokes. Every time he was around someone, he would crack fart jokes or fart sounds and make everybody laugh. He also would carry a fart machine with him that he would take out and surprise people with. How funny is that? Leslie believed that the movie Forbidden Planet cost him television opportunities. He said, it's the reason I was never asked to do Star Trek or the Twilight Zone for television. He also said, I carried too much baggage with me from that movie. So he felt like that movie took some roles from him. Later, Leslie Nielsen died of pneumonia November 28, 2010 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, just eight months after Airplane co-star Peter Graves and one month before Forbidden Planet co-star Anne Francis. All right, so I have a confession that might upset a lot of people, but um, a lot of people know Leslie Nielsen, you know, from Airplane and a few other of his bigger movies. I was introduced to Leslie Nielsen through the scary movie series where he plays the president, like the scary movie series, like with Charlie Sheen. And then I think he was in, um, part four, three and four, I wanna say. But I did fully watch Airplane 
through and through about a year ago. And I have got to say, it is one of the funniest movies that I have ever seen. And what makes it even funnier is that my aunt is a stewardess. So I can joke with her all day long about quoting stuff from the movie. And it's, it's funny because the entire time on my way here, I flew in from Columbus and I was quoting to myself and I was texting my mom at the same time. Quotes, is that really necessary? From the movie, we were laughing back and forth and stuff. So I think it's only fitting that I come down here and pay my respects to the late, great Leslie Nielsen. It only makes sense, right? I thought so. It just sucks because usually when I do a famous gravesite location, I like to leave something for the individual that I'm visiting. And unfortunately, being that I'm on vacation, I don't have any kind of change on me or any kind of special rock to leave. But I guess with this video, it is me documenting my time here visiting Leslie Nielsen. And you know what? That's good enough for me. I can honestly say that I was here, I visited him, got to see where he was laid to rest at, and pay my respects. So, with that being said, rest in peace, Leslie Nielsen, we love you, we miss you, and thank you for all of the laughs. There's stuff falling all around me from these trees, gotta watch out for Something's gonna drop right on my head. Maybe a coconut, who knows? I'm just kidding, there's no coconut trees. No palm trees here in the cemetery. His final resting place wasn't too difficult to find. Um, I came in from this way and I just kind of drove around until I saw a bench right here in between a couple trees. So it's not entirely too hard to find if you want to come out here and pay your specs to Leslie Nielsen as well. All right, that's going to be a wrap on the gravesite of Leslie Nielsen. Thank you guys so much for following me around today. I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that as well. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time on Jordan's Film Quest.